All right, I thought I'd record this. Um, I need to take that bearing buddy. That's the name I was trying to think of that thing. I'm going to take that off of the uh, end of the hub and install a new cover. And I'll show you the cover that I have. These are not the original hub covers, although they do work. But what the axle stub, or the uh, axle shaft is basically it's hollow and it has a grease zerk mounted on the end of the axle stub. And I'll show you the original cap that goes on that. In order to put those bearing buddies on I had to take off the grease zerk. But these were the original covers. You see this rubber cover here? That comes out and then there is a um, greaser crate behind this for your axle and that's how you put your grease in there and the grease will then go down the stub come out the back of the stub up by the, the bearing in the back and it actually will fill that whole cavity full of grease till it gets up to the front and then it squirts it out the front and when you have this cap on there then you can see it squirt out on the inside once this rubber is out of it and you can tell how full it is that's how you grease your your bearings and keep them lubricated it's an ingenious setup it's a little bit different than the bearing buddy the bearing buddy has I'll show you what it does I have the one that's on there and they also have I can dig it out of here out of my stash the other side that I was going to put on and well, let me get this cap off and I'll show you what how these bearing buddies work. These are a very uh, good way of lubricating your bearings if you do not have the setup like I have with the hollow axle stub. But you press those in. It has a grease zerk. You can see a spring down in here with this backing plate. And so as you put grease into your hub. It fills this cavity here. It fills it all up to the point that this plate will start to rise. And it'll actually raise up until this hole. It'll go up past that hole and then the grease will squirt out there. That's how you know your bearings or your bearing buddies are full. And then with that spring in there, it keeps pressure on that plate to push the grease, keep it applying to the axle itself. And it keeps pushing grease into your bearings and along your axle stub. The only drawback that I have seen with these is it tends to push the grease past your wheel seal on the back and lots of times it'll come out and then it'll spray around the wheel on the inside and makes a mess on your wheel and your axle and things like that but other than making the mess you know I don't really believe it blows out the seal to the point where it allows water in but it does force the grease out whereas this setup should not do that because there's no pressure on the grease into the bearings. 
So anyway, we're going to take that other bearing buddy off that is on at the time at this particular time and install this one. I'll show you what they look like installed. I've done the other side. So there's what it looks like. You can see that the uh, rubber cap is inserted. And once I get the bearing buddy off the other side, I'll put the other grease zerk back in that stub over there, and then I'll show you what it I'm trying to explain.